Hey everyone, Hedrum Reviews here with a live review of this debut album from Alphaville. This album came out in 1984 in Germany, back when there was a divided Germany of West Germany and East Germany. And so the songs reflect this mentality. Uh, their big hit was Forever Young, and the song opens with a line wondering if President Ronald Reagan is going to, quote, drop the bomb or not, and instigate World War III. You have to remember that back in the 80s, before the fall of the Soviet Union, a lot of American and European culture centered around the concept that we were all going to face nuclear destruction from a global world war. And so this song reflected that sort of attitude from the mid-80s. Uh, I had never heard of Alphaville until two years ago. And I just, I actually had discovered them on YouTube. And once I heard a few of their tracks, I was just astonished. This was like hearing, for the first time, your favorite 80s pop band that you never knew existed. I have never heard of these people. I'm sure they're fa famous in Germany or the United Kingdom. But in America, aside from their hardcore fans that maybe imported vinyl albums back then, I don't think anyone's ever heard of them and certainly didn't hear their different album tracks here. This debut album by Alphaville is a pop perfect album. These 10 tracks are perfection. I've played this over and over for the last two years, usually when making breakfast. And every song has an amazing pop hook that they open with. The keyboards are stunning. If I can take a look here at the inner album notes, let's see. There's the band members. There's the singer, Marion Gold. And we've got lyrics for various songs. It sounds like a melody. An amazing track. Uh, so if we look here. There we are. Alphaville. Voices by Marion Gold. Rhythms by Bernard Lloyd. Melodies by Frank Mertens. And Illuminator Nelson. Uh, I believe Bernard Lloyd has is, uh, passed away some years ago. But... His astonishing compositions make every one of these songs pop perfection. And being from that generation, I have a special nostalgia for 80s pop music. Um, what I would really like to do is play you samples from all these songs. And on one of my recent videos reviewing my return to the comic book shop, I closed with a 20-second clip from... A B side to this album called Seeds. It wasn't even a, uh, a big hit. And I got an automatic copyright strike from Warner Atlantic, these people down here, for that 20 seconds, seeding all profits. There are no profits because I've got five sub subscribers on my new channel. All profits to Atlantic Warner Brothers. Uh, WEA Music GmbH and I thought this was ridiculous here I am giving them publicity if you've never heard of Alphaville if you're someone like me you'd wonder about that 20 seconds of seeds the chorus from seeds and say hmm I wonder what band that is maybe put your cell phone up to it and have it identify the song for you um, and I would have happily identified them as the source I just wanted to stick some music in at the end of my video to say hey here's something I like to hear maybe you'd like it too but instead no I've got a I got an automated copyright strike from this giant mega corporation of ultimate doom uh, so I'm still a fan of Alphaville I still love them but you just have to uh, deal with automated nonsense like that where I was giving them free publicity and their automated computer system identified Marion Gold's voice and said I was stealing their property. Never mind that every second on YouTube is the company that owns YouTube stealing someone's intellectual property without compensation. But we won't go into that. 
Uh, so, you can buy this album in its original form. I always recommend getting a CD so you can get the full audio quality. They just released a few years ago a deluxe edition, which uh, has a bunch of bonus tracks, demo tracks, and the vinyl LPs, if you're an, a vinyl file like that. Um, but yeah, this is a great album. If you miss this during the 80s, you are missing something that you didn't know existed. So go ahead and get this album. And that's all for Hedron Reviews.